Live from St. Francis Preparatory School in Fresh Meadows, New York, the Terriers hosting Holy Trinity Titans in the Catholic High School Athletic Association quarterfinals of men's volleyball. Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. I'm Neil A. Caruso, and today the 9 and 6 St. Francis Prep Terriers play the 1 and 14 Holy Trinity Titans. St. Francis Prep ranked number three in the standings to finish off the regular season, and Holy Trinity ranked number six. So St. Francis with a big advantage. However, you never know in the playoffs. When it comes playoff time in this quarterfinal game, Holy Trinity might be able to turn it on. But they haven't shown that this year. They lost their last game against St. Anthony's in three games. And St. Anthony's is ranked number one. So looking ahead, if St. Francis was to win this game, which most likely they will, they will have to play Chaminade or St. Anthony's in the upcoming rounds. The semifinals and the finals are held at Hofstra. So if you want to look that up, you can see that on the website, www.sfponline.org. And midweek, you will be able to see the matchups uh, for the next game. So today, the Terriers and the Titans it could go either way, but St. Francis really with the huge advantage. They have a few superstars on their team that really pulled out the win their last home game on May 4th against Chaminade. It was a thrilling matchup, our last game here at home. And Yanni Malo really was a big story in the last game. He paired up with Brandon Colon and Chris Pierantoni, and the three of them were the big three of this Terriers team. So we'll look out for them today. They're going to have to be dead on to sweep Holy Trinity in the three. The last game that played St. John the Baptist, the last regular season game, on May 6th away. 
They beat them in five games, and that was another thriller. They beat St. John the Baptist before. They almost played them today, but due to the meeting last night, they figured out the standings, and they do play Holy Trinity, which really St. Francis got lucky with that. So when we come back, we're going to continue talking about the game. The start is 4:15. So when we come back, we'll continue to chat about this game and St. Francis Prep future men's volleyball on SFP TV. Hi, I'm Haley McCoolis. Do you want to show your prep spirit? Well, stop by the SFP bookstore and check out our wide selection of shirts, hoodies, pajama pants, fleeces, and now scarves. You can't stop by the bookstore? Well, please visit our website at www.sfponline.org and click onto the Prep Shop link. Here, other gift ideas can be found, including SFP golf balls and baby t-shirts for future terriers. Remember, the St. Francis Prep Bookstore, we're not just books. Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. Are you interested in working in a television studio? Well, you can now. Join us behind the scenes as we stream our athletic games and broadcast the news on our SFP TV network. If you're interested, see Mr. McLaughlin in his office in the faculty staff room and visit us in the studio outside the East Top Wing at any time. Back here on SFP TV Sports, the Terriers host the Titans in the Catholic Cultural Athletic Association quarterfinals. St. Francis and Holy Trinity warming up. You see Holy Trinity side there. And here's St. Francis. Also, talking to some of the guys before, St. Francis is really the sure favorite, and the players know it. They're looking to beat Holy Trinity in three games and save their energy for a possible game tomorrow or Friday, all depending on what happens around the league. Holy Trinity again, ranked number six. St. Francis Park ranked number three. I was talking to Curtis Hines today, and Hines said that maybe he'll get a chance to start today. You know, Holy Trinity, they beat Holy Trinity three times, and the Titans really, I mean, only went in one game this whole year, and that was to St. John the Baptist. Although losing to St. John the Baptist twice. So Hines was hopeful that maybe he'll start. He had a fantastic game against Chaminade and St. John the Baptist when he was used, and he has been used pretty well this year. A first-time volleyball player, had a heck of a season, and really able to utilize his height up at the net. So that's possible to see Hines, as well as Freitag, the two sophomores. And you might see them early, and if they have a big lead, you'll probably see a couple of youngsters come in to pull out a victory in this corner final. Well, what's interesting also is Stephen Reed, watching him in the last home game we had on May 4th, Reed really showed up, and as a left-handed player, able to put a lot of spin on it. How you doing, Curtis? There's Curtis Hines as they're warming up, and, you know, Reed was able to put a lot of spin on his spikes, and all of his shots uh, getting over the net, I guess being a lefty has helped him because they're pretty rare in volleyball, but he came out pretty good on the 4th of May. And up close at the net was a big key and put him alongside Yanni Malo, who's Peritoni. You know, that's, uh, that's a pretty good lineup. And you also have Chris Colios, a junior. So these juniors and sophomores have to step up because they'll be starting next year. But this team really having a great year, nine and six. Rank number three in the standings. You know, Brendan Cologne has also been very good. Cologne had a great game on the fourth. And also a very emotional player. Over 
as seven minutes to the start of the game as you watch the Terriers and the Titans warm up over the Catholic High School Lake Association men's volleyball quarterfinal. Stay tuned here on SFP TV Sports. Job. It should be a good one. St. Francis very uh, had a great year, as you mentioned earlier, and they need to capitalize on the poor on a poor team, Holy Trinity, a one of four teams. But you know the playoffs could go either way, so we'll just see. We're actually going to take a commercial break right now. When we come back, we're going to see some more warm-ups and the start of the game. With the CHSAA quarterfinals, men's volleyball, the Terriers and the Titans when we come back on SFP TV. six books way easier. The weight on my shoulders is just gone. Check out the Nook in the Library at West Top today and you can have a great time. Hi, I'm Yale Caruso. To keep abreast of the neighborhood news, read all about it in the Queen's Courier, our media sponsor. Pick up a copy at your local CVS, supermarkets, and the Blue Bay Knife. Look for your picture and stories about us here at the Prep. Visit the Queen's Courier at www.queenscourier.com or see their digital edition. If you want a bargain, check out their Deal of the Day specials. The Queen's Courier, your neighborhood newspaper. Pick it up every week. Sports, the St. Francis Prep Terriers getting set to play the Holy Trinity Titans in a Catholic High School Athletic Association matchup. It's the playoffs, quarterfinals, and really St. Francis Prep getting set. They're warming up and talking to a few of the players before the game. They're emotionally ready. This team is very excited and they're driven by their emotion and leadership. Yanni Malo seems to have a big effect on his, play, on his teammates and peers throughout the school day and before in warm-ups talking to, to each of the players and getting set to play this game. They play each game like it's their last and knowing that in the last game we had on May 4th, it would be the last regular season game 
that the seniors played? Well, it was, and they pulled it out 3-2. Now today, they play Holy Trinity. It can be easy, but you never know, and you have to play each game as hard as the next. So the Terriers are going to come out with emotion. They're going to come out physical, and you know, you're going to watch Yanni Mello, number 15, who is so key down at the net, along with Chris Pierantoni. How you doing, Chris? There's Chris Freitag, emotional leader as well. And Freitag's going to be key to see if they put him in as a youngster um, to get some sophomore leadership down low. I think they could do it. Him, uh, Freitag and Hines are going to be key down low. And um, I think if St. Francis is up a lot or they may put them in to start, it's possible. Um, St. Francis, they do look at it as an easy game, sort of like a JV matchup, but it's not. It's playoffs, so they're going to be more serious than they would in a regular season. But, you know, you look at the greatest athletes of all time. You have a lot that are emotional, that are driven um, and drive their teammates. And you're going to see players like Yanni Malo, we just mentioned, he's really an emotional leader, and he's going to show his play and his play is going to lead his team. So you look out for that. Yanni Malo has been important up at the net with a lot of kills. I mean, last game, he had, I think, 21 kills. And Pierantoni led the team with 17 digs. So you want to look out for those two players to be key. And we'll see how today goes for St. Francis. But Holy Trinity can't rule him out yet. So we're about 10 minutes from the start. We're going to take commercial break when we come back. You're going to see the start of the Titans and the Terriers quarterfinals playoff matchup in the Catholic High School Leg Association. Back from St. Francis Prep and to these messages from SFPTV Sports. Hi, I'm Haley McCoolis. Do you want to show your prep spirit? Well, stop by the SFP Bookstore and check out our wide selection of shirts, hoodies, pajama pants, fleeces, and now scarves. You can't stop by the bookstore. Well, please visit our website at www.sfponline.org and click onto the Prep Shop link. Here, other gift ideas can be found, including SFP golf balls and baby t-shirts for future terriers. Remember, the St. Francis Prep Bookstore, we're not just books. Back here on SFP TV Sports, so it pushed the start of the game to now 4.25, we're about 10 minutes from the start. Actually nine minutes. And Holy Trinity is warming up on the court. St. Francis returns to the locker room as they're going to discuss their game plan for today. St. Francis now coming out onto the court. I think they may want to start this game sooner than then. Get originally 4.15. Shows on the clock, eight minutes. So we'll see, St. Francis might go one last chance to warm up. talking it over, as you see right there on the screen. Some cool graphics on your computer monitor. Now the Terriers getting set for this game. And you know, the thing about this team, they get fired up. The definition of fired up, intense play. And they demonstrate it on the court. And another definition of intense play, Yanni Malo. And he's gonna be key at the net. And we mentioned him, Pierre Tony. Uh, 
Reed, Colios, that's really the big players for today are going to be key for St. Francis. Holy Trinity now doing their full core warm up. One single volleyball on the other side of the court. In men's volleyball for the CHSAA, you only need half of the court. So there's just one volleyball, as my producer's telling me. <laughs> Quiet game, I guess. <laughs> so now St. Francis coming out, and they'll warm up. About under six minutes to start. Be interesting to see who Coach Kaluchik sends out there to start. I assume it'll be Aaron Tony, Tom Baricelli, and Baricelli is another player who, you know, I haven't talked a lot about today, but he is so key serving. I mean, he just and getting the ball over the net each serve. Um, he and Freight Tag are great servers. So Freight Tag, looking ahead in the future, next year will be a junior. That's going to be an important server to have. You see them up at the net, working on their spikes. So Baricelli, I assume, will start with Pierre Tony. Colios, Yanni Mallo. Then it's up in the air. Brandon Cologne will probably start. Then it's up in the air between Stephen Reed and Curtis Hines. And Chris Wright there. Which one do you put in to start? It may need Stephen Reed later on, and he's good. He's a good finisher. But Yanni Paolo is the finisher, and you've seen that with the kills. He's, he is pretty unbelievable. After three minutes, we thank all of you who are joining us right now on SFP TV Sports. Visit our school website, St. Francis Preparatory School, on www.sfponline.org. Now, St. Francis finishing warming up. It's the St. Francis Preparatory Girls and the Holy Trinity Titans in a Catholic High School Athletic Association quarterfinal matchup. It's the playoffs. The Terriers 9 and 6, Holy Trinity 1 and 14 on the year. We're going to take a commercial break when we come back. The start of the game is the quarterfinals right here on SFP TV.
Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. Are you interested in working in a television studio? Well, you can now. Join us behind the scenes as we stream our athletic games and broadcast the news on our SFP TV network. If you're interested, see Mr. McLaughlin in his office in the faculty staff room and visit us in the studio outside the East Top Wing at any time. Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. To keep abreast of the neighborhood news, read all about it in the Queen's Courier, our media sponsor. Pick up a copy at your local CVS, supermarkets, and the Blue Bay Nut. Look for your picture and stories about us here at the Prep. Visit the Queen's Courier at www.queenscourier.com or see their digital edition. If you want a bargain, check out their Deal of the Day specials. The Queen's Courier, your neighborhood newspaper. Pick it up every week. Back here on SFP TV Sports, so the Terriers are getting set to play their quarterfinal matchup. It's going to be a good one. And see St. Francis Prep finishing their warm up about 30 seconds to start. I thank our entire crew this entire season through basketball and volleyball. A lot of good projects here on SFP TV. Again, today is the quarterfinals. This will be our last broadcast, the last streaming broadcast of the year, as the rest of the playoff volleyball games are at Hofstra University in Long Island. We're getting closer to start. This was our first year. We started with the basketball season. We covered our year's basketball, men's and women, and now doing volleyball. We have our news broadcast that plays on Tuesdays and Thursdays during the school year. And really we have a good amount of kids uh, and our technical crew, Bob Cavalieri, Jonathan Cavalieri, and Matt DeRusso. All three of them have been fantastic. I want to thank them. And we're looking for new people to join up, to sign up for next year as we'll continue to stream. We'll be doing a full winter and the spring seasons. We'll be doing volleyball, basketball, volleyball. So we're looking for people to be working behind the scenes. We have a brand new studio. Just now a couple of months, we have a green screen up there, a bunch of technology. So if you're a student here at the prep or even a faculty and staff member, talk to Mr. McLaughlin. His office is located in the faculty and staff room here at the prep or you can email him at any time. The email is on the commercials, P. McLaughlin at sfponline.org. We've had a lot of fun with this with this project, and um, you know another thing that students like to join for is you know it's great for college and it's good for future. A lot of careers are in the technical aspect now, and you have to know how to work some of this equipment. And what's very interesting, and I'm fascinated every day, we have new stuff in our studio, operating the equipment and the things that our crew does during our game and during our news is pretty fascinating. So if you're a student or faculty and staff member, join us. Our studio is located outside the East Top Wing, across from the chapel next to the AV room. Neil A. Caruso with you live from St. Francis Prep in Fresh Meadows, the largest Catholic high school in the United States. So the Terriers now set in white. Holy Trinity Titans in the green. Terriers with a big advantage today. We'll see how they do to start. Give it the starters in just a moment. So to start for St. Francis, number three, Chris Pierrotoni, number four, Tom Baroselli, number 12, Chris Colios, number 15, Yanni Malo, number 18, Stephen Reed, and number 19, Brandon Cologne. So they decide to put their big guns out there. Mix the seniors and juniors. There's the first serve. Set Baroselli, Pierrotoni, and Pierrotoni with the kill, and the Terriers go on the board first, one nil.
Stokers Colios will now serve for St. Francis. Holy Trinity with no chemistry on their side. And now 2-0. It's over and out of bounds. So the Terriers up 3-0. They're looking good to start. Holy Trinity, you can see they just have no camaraderie on their side. Unlike St. Francis, like we talked, we talked in our previous broadcast, the way they work together is uncanny of any team in high school. They just, they feel so comfortable together and the way they're able to move the ball around is now Cologne! Brandon Cologne with the kill, and it is 4-0. Colios will continue to serve, doing a great job. Holy Trinity, they get it over. Seco Leos, Barcelli now. And Piratoni. Barcelli Reed. Reed gets it over. Malo with the dig. And Colios unable to save it. As the crash is into the wall. And now it is one to four. Out of bounds, Sergio's point. Holy Trinity unable to get their mojo together, and now the Terriers up by four. And Tony gets it over. It's Trinity blocked by Reed, and the ball is sailing out of bounds. A tip by Animal. Barcelli sets Reed. And Reed! Steven Reed with the kill. Nice shot there, and he has been key for St. Francis. Six to two, St. Francis leads. Reed puts spin on the serve. Reed has been key up close. Nice addition to the Terriers. And now they lead 7 to 2. Reed serves. And the ball says out of bounds. It's now 3 to 7 the score. Zion Zachariah comes into the game and replaces Stephen Reed. Polios, Baricelli, Mallow. Mallow didn't get a good handle on it. Hit the net, came back on the Terrier side, and four hits is the call. So now it's four seven. And the ball is out, side out, Terrier's point. It's four, St. Francis lead. Joining us live from St. Francis Prep, the ECHSAA quarterfinals between the Terriers and the Titans. Zachariah Baricelli. And Malo misplays it. It's on the Terrier side. Point, Holy Trinity. Neon Reed serves for Trinity. Now Coleos on the other side. And that's four touches for the Titans and the Terriers. Lead by four, Holy Trinity unable to work well together, unlike St. Francis. So 
Mallow serves. A double touch for Trinity. Turner's up by five. Play best of five games, first to 25 wins the game, and Mallow delivers the serve out of bounds. It's now six to ten. Cologne, Mallow. Cologne puts it over, and here's Trinity, and Cologne unable to dig as a tip. Actually, by Pierre Tony. Team St. Francis a little lackadaisical on their side. Not playing with intensity. Baricelli, Mallow, and Mallow! Holy moly, Mallow! And the Terriers lead 11 of 7. Mallow delivers once again. And Mallow gets his first kill of the match. Baricelli serves. Mallow the dig. And Trinity will get the point on the kill by Anthony Page. The serve just gets over and St. Francis Unable to get it over. Brendan Meyer will serve. Rolling Trinity, there's Mallow. Cologne. Uh, Cologne delivers it out of bounds. Mallow is always right in the thick of things on like every play. Mallow is up at the net, putting the ball down. Every time the Terriers are good, Mallow is on fire. And now the Terriers get the point. Substitution here for our Holy Trinity. And the Terriers lead. Chris Colios will serve. And into the net is Eon Reed. Money will get it over for Holy Trinity. And now St. Francis leads by four. Julius <laughs> gets it over. Baricelli, Reed, Cologne. They barely get over at the dig by Eon Reed. And St. Francis is out of bounds. Only Trinity gets the point. Eon Reed with a great job of digging the ball out on the near kill by Brandon Cologne. As Terriers get the point, they're up three. Now Chris Parentoni will serve. Here's Cologne, and Cologne can't get the kill there either, and here's Holy Trinity. Colios, Baricelli, Mello! Holy moly, Mello! And the Terrier lead is four. And Chris Parentoni will serve again. Young Reed. The block by Steven Reed of the Terriers. Double touch by Holy Trinity, St. Francis Point. Here, Tony delivers the serve into the net. Twelve to sixteen, the score. Daniel Fermento, the freshman from Valley Street, will come in and serve for Holy Trinity. 
Cologne. Baricelli back to Cologne. And Cologne is blocked. Nicholas Saggio, the junior, with the block. And giving Holy Trinity the point. They're down by three now. Holy Trinity unable to handle it on their side. And the Terriers lead is four at 17 to 13. Steven Reed will serve. Reed gets it over. St. Francis unable to block. They had four guys down there. I don't know how they didn't block that. Yeah, Baricelli, Mallow, Colonna, Colios, right at the net. Colios, Baricelli, Mallow, Mallow, holy moly, Mallow, and the Terriers' lead is four. 18 to 14. And now Brenda Colon will serve. Cologne delivers out of bounds. And now Trinity will serve. Trinity 15, St. Francis 18. The ball sails out of bounds. And now the Terriers lead by four. Again, we play best of five. Best of five games. First to 25 points. And right now the Terriers six points away from winning the first game. Cologne, Baricelli, Colios, and the ball almost on that pass. Mallow doing a great job, preventive to dig, but the ball falls in front of Pierantoni and Colios. So Holy Trinity gets the point. Mallow with three digs so far and three kills to go along with that. Stephen Reed with one kill and one block. Hello. Pierantoni. And Pierantoni unable to get it over the top of the net. Barcelli touched it for the fourth touch. Now it's 17 to 19. And it's out of bounds. And now the Terriers up by three, 20 to 17. And Tom Barcelli, who has been a great server for the Terriers, serve here up three and your ace the block by Holy Trinity and St. Francis unable to get up it's going to be a double touch Trinity down by two Selling here's Colios, and that's out of bounds. Chris Colios with a near kill, but a side out, and now Holy Trinity is as close as they've ever been in this game. We're in the first game of the best of five. Here are Tony. They roll a carry, and now the Terriers up 21 to 19. Chris Colios to serve. And that's out of bounds. Now the St. Francis Lee cut to one. Along Barcelli. Here's Piratoni, and that is just out. Brenna Cologne is signaling that it was in, and I thought it might have hit the line also. 
but nevertheless, it's a tie at 21. Mello, Baricelli, now Reed. The block is ineffective. Parentoni and Reed pair it up. And now Holy Trinity has their first lead of the afternoon. Timeout by St. Francis. So St. Francis losing the lead. They were up four for a while. It was battling between a four point lead and a three point lead. They just lost it and now it's 22 to 21. Holy Trinity with the lead. So St. Francis talking it over as a losing the lead. Coach Colucci called timeout. And I don't blame him. A lot of times coaches want to stop the momentum of the other team. And St. Francis is clearly the better team. In fact, I spoke with assistant coach Dominic Tassoni of Holy Trinity for the game. And I was asking him, you know, his record and information about the team. And, you know, he says it's going to be a long shot today to win. And that just shows Holy Trinity doesn't really believe in themselves. And coming into the game, they know they're going to lose. But you never know as they have a lead. And now they're pumped up. But now here St. Francis gets the point. At a tie at 22. Parantoni. Leos, Baricelli. Here's Cologne, and Cologne drops it. The Terriers lead one point. And the Terriers side cheering for the Terriers. And they lead one with Pirantoni to serve. The fist bump by Tom Baricelli, and now the Terriers have a game point. <laughs> Holy Trinity unable to handle on their side. They don't get it over. And the Terriers pull out the first game, 25 to 22. So the Terriers up four at one point and battling back. Both teams will switch sides now and a Holy Trinity with a one point lead recently at 22-21. St. French calls the timeout and they came back to win the first out of the best of five. We'll be back as in these messages from SFP TV Sports. Hi, I'm Haley McCoolis. Do you want to show your prep spirit? Well, stop by the SFP Bookstore and check out our wide selection of shirts, hoodies, pajama pants, fleeces, and now, scarves. You can't stop by the bookstore? Well, please visit our website at www.sfponline.org and click onto the prep shop link. Here, other gift ideas can be found, including SFP golf balls and baby t-shirts for future terriers. Remember, the St. Francis Prep Bookstore, we're not just books. Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. Are you interested in working in a television studio? Well, you can now. Join us behind the scenes as we stream our athletic games and broadcast the news on our SFP TV network. If you're interested, see Mr. McLaughlin in his office in the faculty staff room and visit us in the studio outside the East Top Wing at any time. Back here on SFP TV Sports, so St. Francis Prep pulled out the first game, 25 to 22. There, they're talking it over, as you see on your screen. So, a great game for St. Francis. They really had a lot of momentum throughout the first game. After leading 
by four at one point. Holy Trinity came back and almost made a run. They did lead by one point at a time, but now St. Francis able, they called him out, they came back, and they pulled it out. Again, they won by three points, 25 to 22. We play best of five games. So we'll see how St. Francis does in the second. Yanni Malo with three kills to go along with three digs. Brandon Cologne with two kills. And Chris Perantoni with one kill. So that's the story right now. Those are the stats brought to you by the Queen's Courier. Yanni Malo leading St. Francis Prep. Doing a great job up at the net, as he always does. When the Terriers are on, Yanni Malo is on. And he's always in the thick of things. So doing a great job. Pretty quietly today, actually. Only two, three kills today. Last game we had on May 4th, he had like five kills in a time span of two minutes. Forcing the other team which was Shamana to go all time out, and St. Francis pulled it out. And Shamana had their last home game, three to two on senior night. They beat St. John the Baptist May 6th, which was last Friday, and then one in five games. So a long shot for all the training to win, but you never know. They did show some sprightiness in their last game, winning by one point at a time, but now the Terriers win the first, and we'll see how they do is Malo with the dig. Reed. St. Francis able to save it. Goes off lamp post, and that's going to be a double hit as Malo was the last to hit it up to the Raptors. Christian Caldwell will serve. Ball hits the net, Terry Gears point. Polios will serve. And they drop it, the point for Holy Trinity. It's not too much of a blowout today. It is pretty back and forth. Holy Trinity with some competitiveness. As a lead by one. Early in the second game at the best of five. Neely Crusoe with you, live from St. Francis Prep in Fresh Meadows, New York. Cologne. And Cologne almost with the kill. Here's Trinity. Trinity unable to get it over. And the Terriers tie it up at two. Perantoni will serve. Baricelli sets. And Melo. Holy moly. With the kill, that is his fourth kill of the day, and that ball just blazed past. I don't think he could have even blinked your eye in the time span that hit his hand to the gym floor. Set, Cologne. Cologne. Unfortunately for him, Holy Trinity gets it over. Baricelli now Reed. And Reed. Delivers it out of bounds, Trinity point. So tie at three. Holy well, Trinity gets that point, a tip by St. Francis. They're battling back. They are up right now, four to three. As Thomas Donnelly, the senior from Hicksville, sir. Polios, Baricelli, and Mallo, and that's in! Holy moly, Mallo, and the Terriers tie it up. Yanni Mallo in the thick of things once again. Him and Brandon Cologne have been king of the net today and have been important for St. Francis to maintain a lead. 
Stephen Reed serves. And the ball over and a side out. Terry Gears five, Titans four. Stephen Reed doing a good job of serving. Gets it over. Here's Trinity. Mallow put it over, close to a kill. Kalios. Baricelli put it over. And Nicholas Saggio just puts it into the net. And the whole, Holy Trinity loses the point. St. Francis up two. <laughs> Stephen Reed. And that's an ace. It's in. Drop it right in front of Donnelly. And now the Terriers up by three. Stephen Reed will serve. St. Francis with the block. And it's Tom Baricelli down low for St. Francis. And now the Terriers up 8 to 4. Stephen Reed will serve. And the ball goes out of bounds on the serve. So now it's five to eight. Holy Trinity will serve. Eon Reed, number 13 here. Gets it over. It's a tip by Chris Colios. And the Titans get the point. Marcelli gets it over. Set. And that's in for the ace, Nicholas Saggio. Saggio, a junior from Island Park. Now Reed serves. And that is out. So the Terriers up 9-7. Brennan Cologne will serve for St. Francis. Gets it over with a lot of spin. Double touch by Holy Trinity, and now St. Francis up three. Well, gets it over, and that's in for an ace. Right on the line, and the Terriers up 11 to seven. Serves, and that is out of bounds. Eight to 11, Trinity will serve. Saggio will serve. Saggio gets it over. Mallow, Mallow drops it. They roll that Mallow's foot was actually over the line under the net. So a pretty easy drop from Mallow is reversed. And the tight end with the point, 9 to 11. And that ball sails out of bounds, and now the Terriers will serve again. Yanni Mallow will serve for St. Francis up by three. Mallow gets it over. Marcelli, Parentoni. Marcelli gets it over. They find the hole in the Terriers defense. Zagariah unable to play it. There's Brennan Meyer. Sophomore to serve. 
Baricelli nearly dropped it, but Holy Trinity doesn't know how to handle it. And the Terriers get the point. So St. Francis up three, Tom Baricelli will serve. Barcelli and Colios, Colios near near kill. A double touch by Holy Trinity and now St. Francis with the lead of four. There's Tom Barcelli and will serve for St. Francis. Cologne. Colios. And that is in, so Chris Colios with the kill. That's his first kill of the afternoon. Now Tom Baricelli will serve. Caratoni with the block. Colios unable to get it up. Talking it over. And James Colton will come in to serve. A freshman from Bowman. Better selling. Cologne. And Cologne will get the kill. So Brandon Cologne with the power gets his third kill. And now Chris Colios will serve. We're in the second game of the best of five. 25 to 22, the score of the first game. We're in the second, 16 to 11, Terriers over the Holy Trinity Titans in the Catholic High School Lake Association quarterfinal playoff game. Live from St. Francis Prep in Fresh Meadows, New York. I'm Neil A. Caruso, and the ball falls on the side of St. Francis, right in front of Reed and Baricelli. Cologne. Let's see if Trinity can handle it. They got over the third hit. Barcelli Parentoni's blocked. Nicholas Saggio in perfect position. Now we have four blocks in the evening. Stephen Reed. And Reed with the kill. As now the Terriers extend their lead. 17 to 13. That's Reed's second kill of the match. And Tony serves. Tony gets it over. Colios. Reed. Reed with a near kill. Cologne in on the defense. Four touches for Holy Trinity, and now the Terriers lead by five. St. Francis are a great job working together, utilizing each player as Holy Trinity is the polar opposite. And on that play, they let it fall. The Terriers lead 19 to 13, St. Francis and Holy Trinity. We're in the second game at the best of five. Terriers lead by four, choosing by five. We'll be back in these messages from SFP TV Sports. Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. To keep abreast of the neighborhood news, read all about it in the Queens Courier, our media sponsor. Pick up a copy at your local CVS, supermarkets, and the Blue Bay Knife. Look for your picture and stories about us here at the Prep. Visit the Queen's Courier at www.queenscourier.com or see their digital edition. If you want a bargain, check out their Deal of the Day specials. The Queen's Courier, your neighborhood newspaper. 
Pick it up every week. Back here on SFPTV Sports, Tursley 19-13. And coming up for the timeout, St. Francis with Chris Pierantoni will serve. They lead it by six. I think I screwed up my math before, so my producers bring that to my attention. So now Yanni Malo and Steven Reed pair up for the block assist. Reed with two blocks. Malo's first block. And it's St. Francis working on all cylinders together. It's 21 to 13. First to 25 wins. We're in the second game. And the best of five. There's Chris Parentoni. And he serves. Goes out of bounds. Donnelly to serve. Terry Cruz with a big lead, their biggest of the evening read. Stephen Reed will get the kill. It's her year looking good as Reed with three kills on the evening. Reed puts it over. Here's Trinity. Cologne with the block. And Mallow unable to block that. But it's out of bounds, so the Terriers get the point. Twenty-three to fourteen to score. Reed with three blocks serves. See if Trinity can get their stuff together. Reed, Araceli, Cologne. And Cologne delivers it out of bounds. Now the score is 15 to 23. And the ball, Leon Reed serves, goes into the net. And now the Terriers 24. Game point, 24 to 15. Cologne serves. Trinity, do get it over. Here's Cologne, Baricelli, and Melo with a near kill. Baricelli puts it down. See if Trinity can get it over. They do, Zachariah. And now Melo with a soft touch. Baricelli is back and forth. A good volley will end in the Terriers winning the second game. 25 to 15. They won the first 25 to 22. Seems like things are getting easier as the match goes along. So both teams switch sides. And now the Terriers leading two games, two none in a best of five match. We'll see if the Terriers could eliminate Holy Trinity. We're in the quarterfinals of the Catholic High School Leg Association playoffs. We'll be back into these matches from SFP TV Sports. six books way easier. The weight on my shoulders is just gone. Check out the Nook in the Library at West Top today and you can have a great time. Live here at St. Francis Prep, the Terriers won the first two games and things are looking good for the Terriers. Holy Trinity facing elimination this game and you know it was a long shot 
two win in their record is one of 14 the regular season and the Terry years just looking good Mallow in the thick of things each time he has five kills actually six because I didn't count the last one it's six kills one block and three digs Baron Tony has been a little quiet today he has one block and one kill and going down the list, Stephen Reed has been a big asset for St. Francis with three kills, three blocks. And Brandon Cologne contributed with three kills and two digs in the first two games of this best of five match of the Terriers and Holy Trinity Titans at the Catholic High School Bike Association quarterfinals here on SFP TV Sports. Neil A. Crusoe with you. Live from St. Francis Prep in Fresh Meadows. Terriers had a great year, 9-6, their record. They can be a big force in the playoffs this year. For scheduling, you can visit www.sfponline.org. Christian Caldwell, the senior from Westbury, will get things started in the third game. Mallow, Baricelli, Peritoni blocked. Baricelli goes to Colios, and Colios with a near kill. Trinity able to get it over. Baricelli and Cologne is not in position. But they're gonna give the point to the Terriers anyway. There was an infraction on Holy Trinity and St. Francis up, 1-0. Chris Colios will serve. Colios. And into the net, that's Eon Reed. Now Chris Colios will serve. Two nil, the score, Colios gets it over. Reed, and Reed is out of bounds. So now the Terriers up three nil. Barcelli, Mallow puts it over. And Mallow and Cologne pair up for the block assist. Cologne fired up. Great to see his reaction as it turned up 4 0 in the third game. So Mallow and Cologne, that's Mallow with two blocks. And Brandon Cologne with two. The fired up reaction from Brandon Cologne is priceless. And St. Francis up four points in the third game. Things are looking good for St. Francis in this quarterfinal game. Cologne with the kill! There is no way Trinity was gonna stop that one. And Brandon Cologne with four kills on the evening. Chris Colios will serve. Tony, Colios, Baricelli, and Reed will get it over. Mallow, Baricelli, Mallow, out of bounds. One to five now. Cologne, Baricelli, Caratoni gets it over, and it's out of bounds. Two to five. The serve, it's in net, 
and the Terriers up by four. And Chris Perantoni will serve. Polios with the dig. It comes down off the rafters. Baricelli now Cologne. And Cologne in the thick of things for St. Francis and Holy Trinity. Who we'll lose the point is now the Terriers up 7 to 2. <coughs> oh, voice crack on it. <laughs> Peritoni serves. Reed and Mallow. But it's out of bounds, and now the Terriers are up by four. It's their lead is cut. Thomas Donnelly will serve. Polios has two dicks today. Trinity will get that point. Terriers lead cut to three. Tony, Baricelli, now Reed, and Reed out of bounds. So now five to seven, Holy Trinity catching up. Tony, Baricelli, here's Cologne, and Cologne with the soft touch, drops it down, and the Terriers lead is three. And the ball landing. Outside St. Francis is the on Reed with the point. Six to eight the score. Holy Trinity trails by two. Reed serves out of bounds. Too much juice on that one. Nine to six the score. Brenna Cologne will serve. Tony Baricelli. Now here's Cologne. Baricelli Mallow. Peritoni. Baricelli and Colios with some soft touch. Seeming to get Holy Trinity off guard and the Terriers going the distance on a long the volley and the Terriers lead 10 to 6. Cologne will serve. That's a tip. St. Francis Point, they lead 5. Cologne will continue to serve. And the ball will spin out of bounds. 7 to 11 the score. Nicholas Saggio will serve. Parasoni, Paraselli. Coleo has got it over. Zachariah, Baricelli, and now Mallow. And Mallow put it down and he'll get the kill. Holy moly, Mallow. In the thick of things as the Terriers lead 12 to 7. Mallow serves. And Mallow serves right into the net. It's 8 to 12. So Mallow. A little inconsistency with the serve today. St. Francis keeping the game a little bit too close for what they can be at right now. Cologne. Marcelli saves it off the net. 
Khalil's put it over. And Point St. Francis has only Trinity, led by Brenda Meyer, couldn't get it over. And they lead 13A with Tom Barron Sully, their best server, to serve for St. Francis. Cologne, Baricelli, Colios at the bump, gets it over. Reed. Infraction on Holy Trinity, the Terriers get the point. They lead 14-8. Baricelli will serve. Cologne, Baricelli, Reed. Reed with a power shot, only Trinity somehow got it back, and Mello, Mello must put it down. And he'll get awarded with the kill. Holy moly, Mello. And the Terriers lead 15 to eight. Tom Baricelli will serve. St. Francis gets the point. Now Matthew Donaldson will come into the game for St. Francis and replace Brandon Cologne. Sully, Mallow, Colios will get a chance to put it over, and Holy Trinity does. 9 to 16 the score. out of bounds and now the Terriers lead 17 to 9. Chris Colios would serve. Trinity, Barricelli, Mallow, The point will go to Holy Trinity. The fraction on the side of St. Francis. And St. Francis lead is cut. 2 7. Daniel Fomento serves. Mallow, Baricelli, and Pierantoni is blocked. The block assist by Eon Reed. Along with Clinton Smith. Eleven to seventeen the score. Mallow. Garcelli sets. And Cologne. So that's Donaldson is in for Cologne. Delivers the ball out of bounds. So all the training continues to serve. Down five. Mallow, Baricelli, Reed, and Reed. Now all the training able to save it. Baricelli, Donaldson, Matthew Donaldson, the fan favorite, with the kill, and the Terriers lead is 18 to 12. Tony serves, and Pierantoni gets the ace. 19 to 12, Terriers bleed. Yeah. 
We're in the third game of the best of five. St. Francis won the first two as that sails out of bounds. The Turds are now five points away from winning the match. Holy Trinity calls timeout. And we're going to take a break after these messages from SFPTV Sports, the finale. Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. Are you interested in working in a television studio? Well, you can now. Join us behind the scenes as we stream our athletic games and broadcast the news on our SFP TV network. If you're interested, see Mr. McLaughlin in his office in the faculty staff room and visit us in the studio outside the East Top Wing at any time. Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. To keep abreast of the neighborhood news, read all about it in the Queen's Courier, our media sponsor. Pick up a copy at your local CVS supermarket. Back here on SFP TV Sports, so it's a timeout. Holy Trinity looks to regroup, but they're down by eight in the third game at the best of five. And their backs are against the wall with the Mallow with the block. Holy moly, Mallow. And Yanni Mallow is going to be replaced by Curtis Hines. But Mallow in the thick of things. All day, and now the Darius lead 21 to 12. Mallow with 13 kills and now four blocks. Kolios and Hines delivers it into the net. 21 to 13 now. So all the trains' backs are against the wall, facing elimination. St. Francis playing very well. Peritoni, Baricelli, Reed, and Reed with the kill. Steven Reed with now four kills. And Steven Reed will serve. And Reed does not even hit the bottom of the net. Holy Trinity, 14, St. Francis Prep, 22. Zion Zachariah comes into the game. Now Zachariah, Pierre Paracelli, Hines, Donaldson, and Colios. Colios, Paracelli, here's Hines. And Hines with the kill! Curtis Hines gets his first kill of the evening. Only a few plays being in there. Now Alex Smalley, a freshman, will come into the game and replace Matthew Donaldson. Getting a lot of cheers and Alec puts it over. 23-14 and St. Francis showing some of their younger players. And the Terriers do get the points, 24-14. Alex Smalley has a chance to finish it up for St. Francis. Some of the crowd on their feet. And Smalley delivers it out of bounds. So now Holy Trinity will serve. Fifteen to twenty-four the score. The serve. St. Francis unable to handle it. Just listening into Peritoni. Peritoni told Smalley, just call it when the ball is coming. And that's definitely king. It's the younger players aren't too th knowing with that as St. Francis with the chance to eliminate Holy Trinity here. Here's Colios. Colios into the net. So the younger players not knowing all the signals as Smalley hasn't been in there with the varsity. And Smalley will come out. Replaced by Brandon Colon. It's now Colios, Peritoni, and Zachariah, Colon, and Hines in there for St. Francis. Peritoni, Baricelli. But an infraction, St. Francis. So now 18 to 24, Holy Trinity creeping up. And the ball's out of bounds. The Terriers win the quarterfinals. 25 to 18. The celebration continues. A great season. Holy Trinity is now eliminated. 
from the playoffs and the Terriers will move on to the semifinals, which will be held at Hofstra University. The place is the time and, and date to be determined as well as the opponent. So for information, you can visit www.sfponline.org. We're going to come right back when we come back. We're going to wrap it up and tell the story. Live here at St. Francis Prep. Back at the message from SFP TV Sports. Hi, I'm Haley McCoolis. Do you want to show your prep spirit? Well, stop by the SFP Bookstore and check out our wide selection of shirts, hoodies, pajama pants, fleeces, and now, scarves. You can't stop by the bookstore? Well, please visit our website at www.sfponline.org and click onto the Prep Shop link. Here, other gift ideas can be found, including SFP golf balls and baby t-shirts for future terriers. Remember, the St. Francis Prep Bookstore, we're not just books. six books way easier. The weight on my shoulders is just gone. Check out the Nook in the Library at West Top today and you can have a great time. Back here on SFP TV Sports, a great game for St. Francis Prep as they were, they didn't eliminate Holy Trinity as easily as they might have hoped for, but they did win 25-22 the first game, 25-15 the second, and 25-18 to the third. They even got some of the youngsters in. You saw Alex Moley, a freshman, and those players are going to be key for St. Francis next year. This was our last game, as the last game that will be played on this floor this season. The next playoff game and the rest of... Uh, the semifinals and the finals are held at Hofstra University on Long Island, New York. You can go onto their website, Hofstra.edu. Uh, St. Francis with a great day. Yanni Malo is right in the thick of things. Got a huge ovation from the crowd as he uh, completed the game with eight kills, four blocks, and four digs. Was really key for St. Francis. Parent Tony. Didn't have a stellar game like he did against Shaman at our last broadcast. Tom Maricelli was important with the serve, but it was really Yanni Malo. Steven Reed was important. Four kills, three blocks, and a number of digs. Steven Reed w was really on fire at one point with his left hand. Uh, he's left handed, you know, with the spin. And getting the ball over with that spin, Holy Trinity unable to handle it. Brandon Cologne also with six kills, three blocks, and two digs. And Brandon Cologne was really a leader on this team. And you could tell all year, getting down low with the kill, having a great game. Yanni Malo kept off a great year. That's right, holy moly Malo, and that probably be the last time I'll say that as he will graduate in a short while. So St. Francis Prep with a great game against Holy Trinity, 25-22, 25-15, and 25-18, and they move on to the semifinals. You just witnessed the St. Francis Prep Terriers and the Holy Trinity Titans in the CHS AA quarterfinals. You can visit our website anytime, www.sfponline.org. We'll have future broadcasts when we come back from school in September with a bunch of different projects. Again, if you would like to work on the senior student or faculty member here. Just email Mr. McLaughlin or see him in his office. We'd love to have you on board. We have a great amount of equipment. I want to thank our technicians as always. Jonathan Cavalieri, Bob Cavalieri, uh, Matt DeRusso doing a great job all year. So a great game for St. Francis Prep today. They move on to the semis and from St. Francis Prep in Fresh Meadows, Queens, New York I'm Neil A. Crusoe, the voice of the Terriers. Great having you on board today. And as always, look forward to seeing you again.